Morning, everyone. Got a nice hot cup of coffee. Uh, cheers to you. So this episode is going to be about my toilet. So when I got this machine, the guy told me that everything was perfectly fine. There was nothing wrong with it. So buyers beware when you're buying something used. And I know this is like pretty obvious, but um, obviously it wasn't obvious to me. So maybe somebody will learn something through here. So I bought this on Facebook and um, the ad said that everything works as should. Nothing wrong with it. So in the conversation between us before going and buying it, yeah, no problems. Everything works, no issues. They're just, they're going to get a bigger trailer. So anyway, so I drove down, got it, blah, blah, blah. He had it hooked up to the house. Uh, it was a couple, uh, an older couple. And uh, so they had it hooked up to the house to hydro. And when I came in and, you know, turn on a couple lights, the fridge was going. So I was like, sweet. So we walked through some stuff and we went into the bathroom. And uh, he's like, yep, no problems here. He goes, I can't show you. I don't have it hooked up to water. So I was like, okay, cool. I said, but everything works. One of the biggest things I wanted was the bathroom. So he's like, yep, yep, yep. Anyway, get it home hook it all up to water. Yes, I did have, I do have the pressure knob thingy so that, cause I'm hooking up to water. I don't want it to, uh, oops, there's a finger. I don't want it to, um, you know, to blow inside because I hear like if you hook up to city water that it can blow something inside of your trailer. So I didn't want to do that. So I went out, I spent the money, got the little thingy, whatever the pressure gauge thing. And, um, so yeah, so anyway, so I turned it on and like I said, I'm 250 feet away from the house, turn on the water, came back up and uh, to make sure to see if there's any leaks or whatever and the toilet's leaking. So I was like, what the hell? So anyways, shut the water off, clean up the friggin' mess and I'm like, what? So anyway, did that a couple times so I can see where the water was coming from and it was from the water supply line. So I will go in and I will show you, but, um, never thought of this when I was buying the trailer, but when I go and I look around the toilet, because you couldn't see it. So when I go and I turn around, like to see where the water's coming from, I'm like, what is that? They had a Avengers cup from the movies and they had this little thing on top of it, like a spout. So when the water was dripping, it was dripping into the cup. And then they would just send the cup out, like, you know, like dump the cup out. But for the amount of water that was coming out of this, this contraption, I was like, what the hell was the cup doing? Like nothing. So anyway, here and here starts my journey. So I'm going to take you in and I'm going to show you what happened. So what I was getting at was when you're buying something used, check out the plumbing as well. Okay, maybe people do that and I was just an idiot and didn't, but I mean, I was kind of going by this older couple's word that uh, everything was working. It's a private sale, so you can't do anything about it. So now I'm stuck with the cost. If they would have just came clean and told me, hey, the toilet leaks, then I could have like got that all figured out before I even started this fun journey of replacing the toilet fixtures. Anyway, stay tuned because I'm going to bring you into the toilet. Isn't that just a lovely thought? Okay, so I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm going to show you. So when um, I started all this, when it leaked and all that, I googled it or YouTubed it and apparently there are a lot of leaks in toilets. Like that's most, not most, I don't want to say that, but there is a great chance that there are going to be more issues with your toilet. So there's no water supply shut off in the trailer at all. So I watched some YouTube videos and I watched this one guy. He did a great job, whatever. And um, so I was going to put in a water supply line. And this is where the toilet issues went farther in problems. Okay, so the thought of it. So this here, pretend this isn't here. This line came out the end of it which looks like this hooks into the toilet 
the original one, all this was rusted out. It was leaking from there. We soon discovered that it was leaking up here where it attached to the little, I don't know what it's called, the little adapter thing that goes that your toilet um, flushes and everything. It's only about as big as a grapefruit. It's not very big. It's got very easy to attach, detach, but I don't have the patience for it. So anyway, I watched the video of this guy and he came down here and he cut the line and he had a shark bite, um, shut off valve. It's just a quick grab. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, so you shove the shark bite in, you attach the side of the shark bite to your hose, bada boom, bada bing, and there you have a shut off valve in your toilet. Okay, now, so anyway, I made sure before I cut, so anyway, I pulled this out, and as you can see, I was trying to get to the bottom, and again, I have no patience, so yeah, I kind of destroyed that, but whatever, we'll fix it later. So anyway, I made sure before I cut, and I cut right here, I want to attach the sharp bite, well, it doesn't fit. So anyway, I went in, and <sighs> please don't do this. What he cut down here was called like a flex tube or something. It's more like a hard plastic and then the shark bite. But this is just a simple water supply line. So yeah, then I had to go and I went at Home Depot and blah, blah, blah. And then I ended up going to the RV, Stones RV in Sydney. And the nice gentleman gave me this part. I already had the, um, whatever that's called. I can't think of it right now. I already had that. This came with the brand new water supply line that I bought which is this. So this is going to attach to that now. And then this will attach to the toilet. So dude took the toilet out, obviously, so he can get back here because there's not a lot of room in RVs, RV bathrooms. Like I'm sure like a great big, huge one, there's more room, but anyway, um, yeah, so now, He's got the toilet because the adapter, when we hooked it up, it leaked. So that's what's going to happen when I get my toilet back, whenever I do this. So I got this part because Tedford, I think that's the way you say it, is uh, available on Amazon. So this part and this adapter came with it. I think it was like $43 came to $50 with tax. And uh, so this screws onto here. This part's gonna screw up into my new little adapty thing in the in the toilet, and then everything should work. So fingers crossed. But yeah, um, if you have a problem and you cut back here, you have to have one of these fasteners here. Again, it's still not coming to my brain what it's called, but they just slip on a clamp. There you go, a clamp. You slip these on, you put it here, and then you tighten it here, and then it keeps it on. So when the pressure hits, it's not gonna blow this off. Okay, self-explanatory, yes, but you never know. Because like me, some things weren't explain explained to me, and uh, yeah, live and learn. So maybe this video will help somebody. This is what this series is gonna be like. It's just gonna be little things that I'm discovering and I'm gonna put out the little videos they might be good they might be bad informative maybe hopefully like this um, lesson one when you buy a trailer used make sure you go through everything take the time and make them hook up the water so that you can see um, or I don't know if you can do this with private sales but even if you take the trailer and you say, okay, I'm going to go take the trailer and uh, check it out for myself and hook it up to water and everything, they can come with you. I don't know. Um, or maybe you're mechanical and that stuff doesn't bother you. But if you're like me, um, I'm a single, I'm single and I, not that that matters, but like, I don't have somebody to rely on that can come check this for me. Um, thankfully I can contact my girlfriend's husband and he helps me quite a bit. And um, I always laugh and say, like, he's my married husband. I don't know. Anyway. Um, anyway. The point is, if you're buying something used, make sure you go through it. And I would never have thought 
to check behind a toilet because when you came in here, I'm going to flip it around. When you came in here, you, you got to think about it. When the toilet's on, the toilet, that's just a cloth in there, by the way. The toilet is about this high and the toilet comes here. So you only have like maybe three inches. So when I came into the bathroom, pretend there's a toilet there. You can't see anything over there. You can't see anything over here where the cup was, was basically pretend the toilet comes here. The cup was right here. So there's no way. So I would have had to actually look for something. Me again. Um, I'm hoping that um, the uh, technician will let me video him installing it and uh, the part. Um, fingers crossed. If it's in the video, you know he let me. If it's not in the video, then this is just me blabbing. And uh, I want to show you one more thing too. I, in the first video, I had that bench that I was taking out and uh, I took it in and this is what it looks like. And yes, I am watching Bridgerton. Well, that's what it looks like. Her Royal Highness, 